Uh, in this video lecture, we will discuss one of the important theorem of lattices in discrete mathematics presented by Dr. R. Dinesh Babu. Let us see the theorem statement is if any distributive lattice is L, star, direct sum prove that the following conditions okay for all a comma b comma c belongs to capital l capital l is nothing but lattices okay so how to prove this theorem is first we consider the left hand side term we want to prove the right hand side value okay so what is the difference between left hand side and right hand side term is coming to left hand side the direct sum symbol is inside of any two variable and coming to right hand side the star is inside of any two variable okay so we consider left hand side term we want to prove right hand side value okay so here the direct sum symbol is inside of any two variable so if you bring the symbol outside we are always using distributive law okay. students please subscribe the channel 60 thoughts and click the bell icon to get the new information so let us see the proof so now we consider the left hand side term. What is left hand side term? A direct sum B star B direct sum C star C direct sum A. So here I am going to use associative law. Okay, why we are using associative law means if we want to change any bracket, so using associative law. So using associative law, so I am going to put one new bracket for second and third term. So you get this term. Okay. So now using commutative law. What is commutative law? A, a direct sum b equal to b direct sum a otherwise a star b equal to b star a okay in this equation uh, we see c direct sum c direct sum is common so we take outside so that by using distributive law what is distrib distributive law a direct sum b star c we can write a direct sum b star a direct sum c uh, right hand side term is there so yeah, using distributive law we get left hand side value okay so that is nothing but a direct sum b star c direct sum b star a okay. so once again we are using distributive law so we get a direct sum b star c direct sum a direct sum b star of this term b star a okay so now so now so here uh, we are using once again distributive law that is right hand side distributive law coming to here i am going to write uh, this term first b star a star a direct sum b so that i am going to use commutative law once again commutative law a plus b equal to b plus a otherwise a star b equal to b star a okay so using commutative law we get b star a star a plus b just interchanging the term by using previous equation okay so next step once again using distributive law for here right hand side distributive law for here i am going to use left hand side distributive law so what is distributive law for right hand side a star b star c means we write a star c direct sum b star c similarly a star b direct sum c this is called left hand side distributive law so we get a star b direct sum a star c okay coming to first term using first distributive law so we get a star c direct sum b star c so this this direct sum is this direct sum so coming to this term you consider this is a this is b and this is c so you second distributive law so we get a, this one okay so so here uh, so in this equation we see a star a b star b two time is there so using item potent law what is item potent law a star a equal to a a direct sum a equal to a so using item potent law we get b star a direct sum b star a okay once again using item potent law we get a b star a once again we are using commutative law for first term and third term we get our result that is a star b star direct sum b star c uh, and the a star c can be written as what c star a okay so i hope you are enjoying this session thank you